So this is a quick review of NVIDIA's Shadow Play, which is extremely a uh, cool tool. If you haven't heard of it, it's a screen recorder like no other. It's a lot better that, than things like Fraps or uh, what was the other one, the Textory and also Mirrorless Action. I used all three of them. Mirrorless Action is so far the best, but NVIDIA Shadow Play seemed to be beating all of them. So let me explain what this is. First you're gonna get it with the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. It's not even released yet. I managed to get the leaked version. It's not even officially released by NVIDIA, so it's not even on their website. But they should be uh, releasing it within uh, 48 hours. So you can test it out then. And what it does is um, you can access it from here, NVIDIA GeForce Experience. You just uh, click this button in here, you can access the main panel in here. This is off, that's on, so it's uh, turned on. And here you can choose the mode. The shadow mode is basically very good for uh, for uh, gamers who want to like um, play online. You never know what's gonna happen, so basically it's always recording. If something cool happens, you can just save the last time. You can select the size in here, as you can see 10 minutes is only, uh, well, about 4 gigabytes, which is very small actually, compared to Fraps and other recorders, where uh, 1 minute can go up to like uh, 1 or 2 gigabytes already. So it's extremely nice, this system. I left it on 7 minutes. Uh, you can choose the quality, of course high. It doesn't seem to be uh, supporting microphone, which is a uh, bit of a shame, to be honest. But you can always record the microphone uh, into another stream, so it shouldn't be such a problem. You just have to uh, sync it up, but yeah. That's the only uh, downside I've found so far. And mode, you can have shadow and manual. I don't know where it actually records onto because I'm using SSD as primary, so I don't really want it to kill my SSD with the recording. I have to find that out. But manual mode is like, you just press the key. I use the F10. You just press F10 in the game and it's gonna start recording. And once you press it again, it's gonna stop recording and saves the clip. So the shadow mode, it records automatically, as I explained. It's just uh, when you press F11, it saves the last seven minutes. It's pretty much like the GTA 4 uh, video editing mode. Well, not the video editor, but the video recorder. That it always records, and if you see something you like, you can just uh, press a button and it saves the last clip. So it's very useful. And this mode in here, this is shadow and manual mode. So it always records and you can manually record whenever you want like uh, if you're making a tutorial and want to record just a specific area like just one minute or like 30 seconds then you can just start it and stop it manually but I've left it the manual mode at the moment and I tested it out but I don't know the playback uh, somehow in crisis free it's a bit, bit weird I'll show you I'll just load the video up there it is. You can hear the sound is a little bit weird. I'm not sure what's causing it. Maybe it's because I'm using 7.1 sound. But as you can see the video is absolutely perfect. This is 30 seconds of video and it's only 200 megabytes so it's a very good size, size to quality ratio. It's really crystal clear. But yeah, the sound is a little bit weird. I don't really know what's causing this, but maybe it's because of the beta and it's uh, not released officially yet, so... Maybe that's one of the problems, but we'll see. Unfortunately, I can't really record it in the game and show you how it looks like in there. But that was just a demonstration video. I've tested it on Crisis 3 so far. I'm gonna test it in some uh, other games and uh, leave the feedback in the description, how it's gonna go. But yeah, I definitely recommend this recorder. The first impressions are just amazing how good this recorder is. And I am running Crisis on almost uh, absolute max. Uh, I have it on... Um, everything is very high, all the settings. 
I will actually show you a small clip from Crisis 3. I'm gonna record it with a shadow play. And I will show you the settings I'm using. Right, and I made this clip and I will show you. I will just pause it and make the video window a little bit uh, fit. I'm recording it on 720p. I mean, not the game, but the uh, video itself. It's just uh, on a window mode. And that's a video playback, that's not a game. So as you can see, I have a max resolution for this monitor. Everything is very high. Anti-aliasing is what actually kills the frame rate a lot. So I have it on this FXAA. And the advanced settings, uh, what I have in here. Uh, as you can see, everything is very high and uh, this anisotropic filtering is just one times because these are the things that really lack the game. Uh, if you're wondering, I have a GTX 680 Phantom. And that's about Crisis 3, it runs about, well, 60 frames per second is no problem, to be honest. And I have the V-Sync on, so it doesn't kill the graphics card without any reason. It just uh, sticks at 60. And Shadowplay also play, uh, records at 60 frames per second, which is amazing. It's really very good recorder. The quality to a file size ratio is very, very good. Better than anything else I have seen so far. And yeah, I was showing the settings because it doesn't have any impact on the performance. At least it doesn't look like it. It's very uh, nicely done. I didn't uh, experience any lag at all. And Crisis Free, uh, as far as I know, it's the most demanding game out there at the moment. Far Cry 3 uh, is also, but I'm able to run Far Cry 3 on absolute maximum without any issues. However, Crisis 3 goes down to 25 frames per second. If I turn up all the filtering systems, which I showed you, which I have on uh, quite minimum. But yeah, these are the only things I can't turn on maximum in Crisis 3 and this doesn't have any impact at all. While the other recorders, they drop at least like 10 to 20 frames usually. Again, it depends on the settings, but this this doesn't have any visual uh, frame rate drops. At least didn't notice any. But yeah, it it was expected to be honest because that's built into the Nvidia drivers, so uh, I was uh, expecting nothing less to be honest. But yeah, check it out. I'll leave some stuff in the description and links and uh, maybe the beta download. I might just upload it so you can uh, get it from my website, but we'll see. It depends when NVIDIA releases it, but I hope this gives you an overview of what the Shadowplay is, how it works and how well it works.